Hey everybody, it's been a few days, so I thought I would give y'all a little update on the garden. The cabbages are finally beginning to head up. Uh, it took them long enough. And, well, some of that's collards, not all of it's cabbage. This is certainly cabbage. And they're just now beginning to tighten up in the center a little bit. I had to move the onions from this bed to that bed. So they got transplanted twice. <laughs> this bed wouldn't drain, so I added a whole bunch of perlite to it. And moved those onions over there in the meantime. Well, I got potatoes planted in here now. I got the Baltic rose planted on this end. I got some red Norlands on that end. And look here. Remember the store-bought potatoes I had that was just trying to come up before the freeze? A friend of mine from church told me just chop the tops off from them and cover them up, and that's what I did. And look here. We'll have potatoes. We'll have early potatoes. Look at that. Something's eating on the leaves, and I have to get out my neem oil and spray them. But in between this row here, where I undoubtedly didn't have any planted, or they they literally died from the cold, I went ahead and put some red norlands in there that I had left. And I got a small row of red norlands under this straw here. And I've got... This bed, I'm sorry if I'm making y'all drunk, this bed is all red New Orleans. And uh, it won't be long before they'll have to be healed. If we get a freeze or a frost, I'll cover them up with pine straw. I've got plenty of that. And these onions and carrots are looking really good. They're doing very good. Uh, growing like crazy. I pulled up one of the carrots yesterday. Just to see if, well, I was thinning it, actually. To see if they were getting any size on them, and they are. And, uh, this bed here has the Sapomiris. Something I have been trying to get for about three years now. And they only had them in the UK. Well, this year, for the first time in this country, Wood Prairie Farm had them. Now, I don't know if they'll be able to take our heat. Down here, they're uh, what they call a main crop in Europe. So they will, it will be 100, I believe it's 110 days on these. It might be 120, I'll have to look again. And that's some more onions there that I cut the tops off from. Set them here where they could get some sun. There's no <clears throat> danger in them potatoes coming up and, that being in their way anytime soon because I planted them pretty deep. And I'll uh, tell you the truth, I don't know what that right there is. It's a brassica, I'm sure. I just don't remember which one. I think it might be broccoli. And I got my son to weed eat down all the, um, the uh, clover and radishes today and we gave them to the chickens. And we're going to dig that up and plant us about three rows of corn back there. And I got that cardboard down to help keep some of the grass down. It's, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to work 100%. But I can't go out and buy a bunch of weed fabric. Plus, someday when I'm not around anymore, my son will probably want his yard back. Uh, he may grow some things in these raised beds, but... I kind of doubt it. I got my garlic in here and I just put some some sweet peas in here today. Um, well, actually, here's the package. I guess I dropped it out of my pocket. They're called Little Marble. I like them. Danny don't care for them, but I like them. I love pea salad. And uh, the onions in the grow bags are growing slower. But they're getting the same amount of fertilizer. I don't know what the difference is. Well, one bag over there has just been transplanted. And I got some turnips over, way over there. And I got some potatoes that came up in that bed of leaves I had over there. I got stuff scattered everywhere. And I'm out of something to plant in. 
and I've got seeds started in the house. Well, no, I'm not out of something to plant in. I still have grow bags. I'm out of something to put in those grow bags. Now, if I, if I was going to be planting brassicas, I could go in under the chicken coop, under chicken roost, and get some of that out from under chicken roost and put it in the bottom of the bag and then put some compost on top. And it wouldn't be too hot because I've been putting scratch in there and letting them scratch all that up and and break it all down and it's pretty much composted. Well, I'm gonna make this shorter than usual. And somebody told me that my my uh, citrus would come back uh, in a comment, and it is. It's growing new leaves. See, I don't know if it'll flower this year, but. Thank God I didn't lose the tree. All right, I hope everybody's having a good week. And remember, with everything that's going on, if you read your Bible, you'll see we're living in the last days. Don't keep putting off giving your life to the Lord.